Hi everybody, John Bailey here, gemstone artist and founder of the Fastening Academy. Welcome back to the Fastening Academy training facility and to another in our official Ultratech video series. Today I'm going to introduce a really cool new uh, Ultratech tool, an attachment that goes on our Precision V5 equipment to improve our ergonomics and to greatly speed up are fastening. So if you feel the need for speed, you're going to like this uh, cool. It's called the JB Speed Trigger. So <laughs> I, uh, it's, it's been my honor to work with uh, Joe Rubin on developing this thing, and it's my honor to share uh, the tool with you today. So uh, stick around, check out the video, and we'll speed up your fastening. to start with. And because we're going to use a visual cue instead of an auditory cue, we can spin the lap faster. We can actually cut faster. And our reactions to visual cues are neurologically faster than our reactions to auditory ones. So this row of facets should actually cut a good bit faster. I'm going to watch the digits. The last one, when it hits 40, I'm going to take the stone off the lap. I'm watching the digits flicker down, count down to zero. Now I've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and it starts to flicker zero. That's when I'm going to lift it off the lap. This will allow you to cut very, very accurate depths of cut. This V5 digital dial indicator is extremely accurate. It's very repeatable. And you can move very quickly to keep the stone against the lap most of the time. If you're paying attention, you'll notice that most of the time that I'm spending when the stone isn't against the lap is in traveling far over until I can see the index. We can go back and look at a stopwatch and see how long it takes us to cut this row of facets with standard machine handling. And the last facet, there it is. So we could time that out. We could go back and look at the time counter on the video if we want. And I probably will do that and put the stopwatch count uh, somewhere in a tag on the video so you can see it. It might be right here. What if I wanted to go faster than this? Um, where's my time getting used up? In this movement and changing my hands around, altering my positions in order to see and release and relock my index gear. What if there was another way? If we slide our mast back and let's hard stop at around 90 degrees so this is easy to work on. And we'll take a look. There's a nifty thing called a speed trigger. And if a person has an injury or a disability or for any reason wants to be able to operate the quill one-handed, the speed trigger will allow you to do that. It's very, very difficult to do that uh, with the factory configuration. I can put a finger down here. I'm always going to have to change my grip around and release and then maybe I can adjust the gear with 
my middle finger, some technique, something like that. It's possible to do. But there's a one-handed system that also makes cutting really, really fast. At least the indexing part of it will be very fast. So we'll release our rhinoceros horn with our Allen screw, Allen wrench. We'll take our speed trigger. It goes in the same spot that the rhinoceros went. And it'll navigate around the end of our index release. There's a little range of angles here that'll work. I like my speed trigger to be parallel to the quill. So I hold it, I eyeball these two lines so they're parallel, and then I reach around and tighten. Tighten this set screw on it. It's a little high. I like it right about there. Okay, the speed trigger allows me to grab the stone, protect the stone, um, control the quill with my fingers. I usually put a little finger underneath it so I can make a positive grab this way. Index finger on the speed trigger, trigger finger on the trigger. And what this allows me to do is pull the trigger and now I can rotate the index gear. You can see it above my knuckles there. I can rotate the index gear, find the index I want, and drop the lock right in place. One-handed indexing. Not only is it one-handed, but it's pretty quick. And the more you practice with it, the faster you'll get. So I control the quill with my fingers. We've set up a quarter of a degree worth of travel for material removal. Let's start some water. Let's make sure we can see the stone on the lap. That looks about right. Let's start up some water. And again, we'll spin up our lap to a pretty good speed. I will move this a little further. There'll be a little more travel here than typical because I'm sitting further to the right than I usually am. So we'll bring both hands so we have symmetrical work. Left finger on the stone, monitoring the stone. My right index finger's on my trigger, ready to release so I can rapidly change from one index to the other. We'll cut. And index. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be moving the head nearly so far. When we're done, we'll check the timing on our video clock, and I'll put the total time for cutting with the speed trigger versus the standard head handling, and we'll see what percentage of time we saved by having a speed trigger, even with me sitting to the side. Watching, you'll see the flicker and see me stopping. The facet row cut with standard machine handling took us a minute and 59 seconds.
The facet row cut with the speed trigger only took us a minute and 34 seconds. That's 25 seconds faster just to navigate the index gear and take off about a quarter of a degree worth of depth. That's 21% faster, and that translates to money. So if you're ready for speed, or if you have any reason to need to operate the quill and the index gear one-handed, check with the Faceting Academy or with the Ultratech representative that you usually order from and ask them about the speed trigger. They'll hook you up.